back to my channel and if you're new here then welcome my name is Maddie and today I'll be doing the New Year's book tag we're doing another book tag that I have not been tagged in but I I do them anyway I'm usually not tagging them but I just like to do book tags anyway because they're really really fun to do so that's what I'm gonna do today and I thought this would be a good one to do because it's still pretty much early on in the year we're still in January so New Year's has recently passed, so I thought this would be the perfect tag to do at this time. So there are a few questions pertaining books. Some of them pertain to New Year's goals as well. So why don't we just get into it? Question number one is how many books are you planning to read in 2022? Because my goal is to read a about five to eight books a month, somewhere in that range. I keep up with that average each month. I should be able to read 60 books in the year. So for that reason, my goal is to read 60 books in 2022, which I think is very, very reasonable. If I keep up with the pace of books that I have been reading lately, then I should be able to hit that goal by the end of the year. I think there's a pretty good chance that I will, so I'm confident that I'll be able to hit that number. Question number two is name five books that you didn't get to read in 2021, but you want to make a priority to get to in 2022. So the first book that came to mind, actually this is a series, and that is The Devil's Night series by Penelope Douglas, which I mentioned so much in 2021. I put it on so many TBRs that I was never able to get to the first book, so I really want to get to it in 2022. That is a major goal for me, and I'm going to try my best to. Actually, I'm going to not even try to. I just need to get to it already. It's going to happen. And the second one is Addicted to You by Krista and Becca Ritchie. This is a series that I've been hearing a lot of good things about, so I definitely want to start it this year. And another one, I can't believe I haven't read this book yet. It's insane, but that is A Court of Silver Flames, which is the fourth book in the A Court of Thorns and Roses series by Sarah J. Maas. I enjoy this series immensely, so it's crazy that I haven't gotten to the fourth book yet. That needs to happen. I have it on my January TBR for this month, and for that reason, I should be getting to it really soon. I'm really going to try to. I definitely need to get to it already. And the next one is the Black Dagger Brotherhood series. This is a series that I started years ago, and then I got into my long reading slump, so I never finished it. But I want to pick these books back up again. I had tried a few times to get to it in 2021, but it just didn't end up happening, so I'm definitely going to get to them this year. It needs to happen. And then lastly is just Colleen Hoover books. In general, I just want to get to all of her books this year. Her whole catalog, it's going to happen. Question number three is what genre do you want to read more of? So a genre that I really want to read more of is paranormal romance because I already love the romance genre. But I don't often read a lot of paranormal romance, so I'd like to explore more of that genre. Maybe read more paranormal romances, including specific paranormal creatures that I haven't read about before. I think that would be pretty cool. So that's going to be something that I'm going to try to do this year. Question number four is an interesting one, and it is name three non-book related goals for 2022. So the first one I put down is to get a new job. I have a job right now, but I'm having a problem where my job just does not pay enough to sustain where I want to get to in the future. I'm trying to make it a goal to be able to live and survive on my own without the help of my parents because Lord knows they don't need to be helping me anymore. I need to be able to be independent and support myself and the job I have right now is just not going to allow me to do that. So I really do need to get a new job that has a higher hourly pay to make it to where I can support myself comfortably. Which I'm on good track for that because I do have a job interview on Monday so something might happen. So I feel like this goal is definitely going to be fulfilled during this year. And my second one kind of goes along with my last one. I want to get my own place. I've always wanted to have my own place for years now and it just has never worked out but I do fully believe it's going to work out this year because right now you might be able to tell a little bit from the structure probably not this background does kind of look like a bedroom but right now I am living in an RV with my mom and my stepdad so I'm sharing the space right now but eventually my mom and my stepdad plan to get their own RV and I might be able to keep this one I don't know yet because we're technically borrowing it I don't know how it's gonna work out but once they get their own RV no matter what, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get my own RV, and I actually don't mind living in an RV. Like, I actually like this. Even though it's a small space, it's kind of perfect for me. If I were to live here on my own, I wouldn't mind it. So, 
we're on the right track to getting my own place this year. I have a good feeling it's gonna happen and I'm really excited about it. And my last one is to go on vacation. I just really want to take a vacation. Me and my mom really want to go to Disney World. We're gonna try to make it happen. This one is more of a far-fetched one because I need a, like I said, I'm planning to try to move out this year so I need to save up for that. So that might be not allow me to actually go on vacation but hopefully it'll happen I really want to I've never been to Disney World I've always wanted to go so I really hope it happens question number five it's what's a book that you've had forever but still haven't read and this specific series I've had forever I've read the first book but I haven't read the second book and I really need to get to it and that is the Savior's Champion series by Jenna Morrissey I love the first book which is the Savior's Champion I I'm impressed with how much I loved it because it's so heavy on the fantasy, but I really enjoyed it. And I have yet to get to the second book, so I really want to try to get to the second book this year, and in order to do so, I need to reread The Savior's Champion because it's been four years since I've read it, so I'm sure I forgot a lot about it. So I'm going to reread the first book, and then I hope to get to the second book this year. Question number six is one word to describe how you hope your 2022 will be. And I put exciting. I just want this year to be filled with exciting new adventures for me. I really want to try to push myself to be out of my comfort zone and just try things that I normally wouldn't try in the past, which mostly includes just trying to be more social. That's a goal I have this year. I just, I want to be able to socialize with people more easily and I feel like I can only do that if I do go out more often and be around other people. That is something that I really want to try to do this year. Just build new relationships and become more social, at least as social as I can get because I am a huge introvert. And that alone would be a very new exciting thing for me to do. So I hope this year will just be exciting and notable and filled with a lot of new adventures for me. The last one is tag a friend. I don't ever tag anyone so if you want to do this tag you are welcome to do it consider yourself tag and that is it like I said hopefully this year will be a good one and hopefully I'll also be able to read many books this year that's a huge goal I have but 60 books to me sounds reasonable so I have high hope hope you enjoyed the video if you did be sure to like comment and subscribe for more anime related videos and book related videos and if you'd like to follow me on social media those links will be in the description box and I upload every Tuesday and Saturday and I'll be back really soon Bye.